All right, guys. We're gonna fix this door from rubbing here in the door jam. What I would do is take one screw out of each hinge, the center screw. in a little bit because over time it sags especially this door here that never put shims in it so we want to use a bigger screw too you want to use a three inch screw all right we're gonna draw it in Now we have a nice, I don't know if you can see that or not, but now we have a nice eighth of an inch from the top all the way to the bottom. See that? Now it closes real nice. Okay. Now we'll take the door off the hinges. And cut the bottom to stop it from rubbing on the concrete. Now it doesn't do it all the time. It does it with the weather, changing the weather. Like if it starts raining and gets humid out, it'll swell. And it's too close to the floor, so it rubs on the concrete. So I'm just going to take an eighth of an inch off. And that's going to clear it. So what you want to do is you want to pop these pens. Take the pens out. Sure, you can see me here, yeah. Sometimes it can be difficult. This particular hinge doesn't have a hole in the bottom. Normally, you would have a hole and you would take this punch. And you'd stick it in the bottom, tap on it, and it would pull the pen out. The hinge pen. But in this one, you're going to have to catch it right on the lip. <clears throat> The idea is here's a hinge and you're going to take this punch and you're going to have to try to get it right there and use your hammer to pull it up so it'll be like this just like this let's see i can put it over here and this one is dead you might be able to see it better so just say this is the top of your hinge you got to get that Right in there and tap it up. Guess you got the idea. <clears throat> All right, let me get this set up. All right, so I got this door down here. You can see here, it's loose. The door is warped, needs to be replaced, but for the temp for temporary purposes, I'm just gonna temporarily fix it until we get the new door in. As I stated, this is just a temporary fix. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my strap, trying to do 
is pull these two panels together this way. One this way, one this way. Okay, that's a little better. <sighs> Temporary. Remember, this is only temporary. This is up to hold it together so that we so we get a new door. an inch and quarter deck screws. Okay. We also want to check our hinges too. Check our hinges. Make sure they're all nice and tight. That one's tight. That one's tight. This one looks a little loose. always makes fun work. I like to take my drill Phillips head and just give it a little tap. Nice and tight. Side here seems to be a little loose too. I like putting another angle. I feel like it gives me a better, better hold. Okay. Now remember, 
this is just temporary. Okay. This is not uh, permanent fix. It definitely wouldn't be doing it this way. Trade on this window. Window pane. Window pane. Normally the door would be on the hinges, but since I have it off the hinges, I'm just going to go ahead and do it on the table there. So I'm going to pop this trim. I'm going to save the trim if you don't have a new trim. Be real careful with pulling this up because of the glass. You see there's still glass on there. already have
put a couple, add a couple on each side. These are going to go on an angle.
Alrighty, got the door in. Got the new glass in. Okay. Closes nice. Box. Alright, got a little bit of a little bit of a gap now at the bottom so don't rub on the concrete. Okay. Now what I need to do is just paint it. Paint it off. I'm gonna get started on that. Now I'm gonna prime this first. Prime all this bare wood. Prime that and then paint it. And then uh, and you can see how the panels are all delaminated. The whole door is warped. It's it's a uh, 60 year old door. Yeah, not bad for a 60 year old door. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.